We are gathered here today to embark on a treacherous journey known as Aranara. I know we don't have to do absolutely everything. We only have to get to a certain point, which I believe is when we unlock the Statue of the Seven in this area. But I'm sure it's still going to take us a bit of time. And this is the beginning. While she takes care of the mushrooms, I also just want to point out that if we come into the battle pass, we're only level 44 and there's one day and 13 hours left. In case you don't remember, in the last episode, we did actually buy the battle pass. So I think today we want to make sure we finish as much as possible. Now, while it would probably be a good idea for me to save primos for when Nuvolet reruns in the second half of 4.5, I still feel kind of compelled to pull for Yaimiko's weapon. And if we look now, we do have enough for one singular wish so let's see we're setting the mood for the episode okay it's gonna suck everybody buckle up now even though a lot of this video is probably gonna be about progressing through the rnr i'm gonna be trying to show as little as possible of it because i don't want the video to be boring and i'm sure the last thing that you guys want to watch is someone going through the rnr quest there's Aranyaka part two since there is just a lot of you know unskippable dialogue in this quest i actually just booted up star rail so i can farm in the back so at least I can be productive during this. Ooh, I see that statue of the seven. I forget how to get to it, but I will eventually. So based on what my Twitch chat told me, I should be able to go get the blueprint for the weapon right now. Of course, that's if I remember where I have to go to find the one dude that does sell it. Okay, Twitch chat was slightly wrong. We do have to do a little bit more than just that. No, I mean, of course, it's Twitch chat we're talking about. Of course, they're going to get things wrong. I think this is it. There's the big turnip. Okay, not it yet. We actually can't interact with it. Back to dialogue I go. Now we can unlock the turnip. I'm pretty sure someone here, maybe even this person, is who sells the blueprint. Oh, maybe it was that one. Here it is. It, oh. Um, I don't know. This one, Fruit of Fulfillment. That's the one. With that in their possession, we can head over to a blacksmith, unlock it, and where is it? Oh. Uh, oh. Oh, that's not good. I only have two of the regular ones, so I don't really want to convert it, but it's the only way for me to get this weapon, so that's exactly what we're gonna do. One Fruit of Fulfillment coming right up. Hey, Lisa, I got something for you. You can now have both EM and ER. However, today is Saturday, which means I can't farm the plates, and it's also gonna be pretty difficult for us to farm all the black serpent drops because our chasm is not really explored. And if I'm not mistaken, the first one that it shows us in the book is a lot behind a door over here that yeah is, is not open yet so that's pretty cool i'm actually curious if i can get to any of them yet i'm pretty sure that i remember this path leads me to wherever i'm trying to get to and the place i'm trying to get to is the place with a bunch of the black serpent knights but also this isn't geo only so at least i have co-op unlocked on this account so even if i can't get them in my world i could just get them in someone else's world here we go i can farm a whopping two of them on the bright side they do do seem rather generous with the drops, which makes sense since there's so few of them. But because we can't farm the domain for this weapon today, I'm going to push that off to tomorrow. And now let's see how far we can get the battle pass. Ooh, and, and one more wish, which... Okay, never mind. It didn't happen. I, I didn't even do that wish. There are our 20 dishes for the week, as well as all of the forging that we need to do. I guess I also need to go defeat 10 bosses and use a lot more resin. And I think I'm going to start spending my resin on the ley lines. Between today and tomorrow, I should hopefully be able to hit 20 of them. And also with this new weapon, our hyper blooms are hitting for like 33,000. That is not bad at all. Oh, actually, let's see. With Nahida's burst up, are we able to get even higher? than 33,000. 37,000. I guess it is also worth noting that we only have two piece I guess it is also worth noting we only have two piece of flower of paradise lost on her. We could do a four piece of that or four piece gilded dreams. And then that'll probably get our hyper bloom damage even higher. Resin has been spent in 20 ley lines are completed. Also, I apparently haven't done my weekly bosses yet. I don't know how that happened, but let's go ahead and fix that right away. There's Scaramouche defeated. Senora is down as well. And now I don't have enough resin to do the third 
third weekly boss today. So we can just have a bit of fun and do Devolin on the lowest difficulty. We can't collect the drops. I just want the points for the battle pass. Oh, oh, this guy is kind of, uh, he's kind of frail. And I suppose we can also come back and grab all of this, which should be a decent number of points in here, except I forgot I still need to farm seven more bosses. But that does bring us to level 47. So this will be boss number four, boss number five, number six, seven, eight, nine, and number 10. Apparently, I had gotten the Serena Teapot on this account and I just never went into it. I thought that I had just never done the quests and was too lazy to. Ooh, more free stuff. I am just gonna go through and speed up a bunch of different furnishings. Although I did just remember on this account, we're gonna have a big problem when it comes to wood. That is not a material we have very much of. So right now I am just making as many stone lanterns as I can. And now we have a nice little path of lights. That'll bring us up to level 48, which makes me kind of worried that we can't get two levels between today and tomorrow. So for quite a number of things, I guess we will wait until tomorrow. It is now the day of the sun, which means it's time to apparently unlock this domain and then farm for our weapon ascension materials. And luckily, this is a very easy domain. Though since it is Sunday, that means today is the last day for us to work on the battle pass. Also, hopefully yesterday, I wasn't planning on spending my resin on anything except for this weapon because I just spent all of it inside of there. And I have a feeling that the black serpents and fungi are not gonna be my favorite enemies today. So with the one whole spot farmed up that I know about, let's see if we can bring this a little further. Uh, we can, but now we're out of the fungi drops. So let's assemble a fungi killing team and start exterminating the population. Also, let's do a battle pass check. We do get to 49. I think we'll be able to get to 50 pretty easily today. Although I say that, and looking at the things left, I can't do either of the teapots unless I actually go in someone else's teapot. Are they actually going to make me play TCG? I'm going to be honest. I don't even know how to get into someone else's teapot. Don't you have to be friends with them first? Wow, what a nice teapot this is. This person, this person is very good at decorating their teapot. Now we can just go ahead and buy two of literally anything. And that gives us the maximum points for the battle pass. While we are in such a nice location, let's go ahead and see if maybe here we can get Yaimiko weapon we get a purple which is going to be my widget finally no it's not but that's fine because at least we're gonna get a gold one right here Mmm, this is going very well two wishes left we see blue come on surely surely the last wish i have is gonna be gold. Do gold even exist? Weapon banner is a scam. But quick shout out to Java for letting me in their teapot. What a nice person. Oh, and while I was hanging out with Java, I did go ahead and farm up some more of the Black Serpent Knights. Of course, that doesn't really help us on the fungi front. But to be honest, I was too lazy to farm them in that world too. So while the weapon isn't maxed yet, I could probably finish this off over the course of the next few live streams. Though our ER now goes up to 200% and once all the buffs from this weapon do take effect we go over a thousand em which is good enough the spiral abyss has not reset since the last episode where we tried it and i'm still not expecting 36 stars obviously but i do want to see if it just feels even slightly easier all right both of the first idiots are down now we're onto the things that have a very high chance of actually killing us here but with the freeze it's a little bit easier to manage one die die faster you have no hp Look, it wasn't the quickest. Uh, we only have a minute and 15 on this side, but that's, that's better than it was. And now on this side, we're going for, obviously, Hyper Bloom. And I know now I can... Well, I mean, I already knew that I could refresh Kokumi's... Koku, Ko, what, what am I saying? I'm just going to forfeit that sentence, and uh, you'll never know what I was trying to say. How do you hit this thing out of that? Because sometimes it just stops doing that attack, and it falls down. And other times, like right there, it doesn't. Three stars are indeed gone. Ooh, this is a good one though. He coiled right around all my... Huh? How did you just do that much damage? Second time went a little bit quicker on the first half. We pretty much have it down to around the time that we would want it to be. I seriously do not know how to knock this thing out of this. Oh, something I did apparently did knock it out though. Okay, not really sure what that was, but I'm not gonna complain. Once again, no three stars. Oh boy, here we go again. I don't know how to stop it. I don't know how to stop it. He, is he done? No, he's... He, okay. Ooh, look at that. We get two stars. If this thing will actually go down 
with zero HP. Please. Hello? Thank you. <laughs> I swear, once they hit one HP, they still live for another 30 seconds after that. First half finishing faster than a minute and a half? That's kind of crazy. I feel like maybe the Hyper Bloom is not better for the second half. Because we are doing so little damage to this guy. Survivability on this side is fine right now. Uh, but the timer... Timer is not fine. Only got one star. And I thought about flipping the two teams, but I think honestly that'll make it take even longer. Oh, first half is nice on this one. Uh, second half, although this just seems to be how it goes. We have one team that does really nicely and then one team that doesn't. Plus with Kokomi's jellyfish, this guy is kind of hard to keep in one spot. So we don't actually get that many dendro cores. Okay, he's down. He does have bigger dendro resistance, but hopefully, oh, we do nothing. Oh, we somehow actually knocked it down and it's already flying again that's that's awesome oh my hyper blooms just flew up to outer space they didn't even go after the enemy can we at least see two stars here uh the answer is no because i don't have enough stamina to actually activate this dendro core so again one star i mean look at least we beat it this time but uh i don't really consider that beating it i'm just saying the side with the Yaimiko was the side that was better again. And the best part is I just realized one of Yaimiko's art- Two of Yaimiko's artifacts are level zero. The only other thing that I want to try is swapping Elisa and Yaimiko. First side could have gone a little bit better. It's definitely harder without the Yaimiko. But maybe, just maybe, this side will be easier with Yaimiko. How did that not afflict you with Nahida's thing? It's really not even close to three stars. We'd have to find a way to save about 40 plus seconds. Chamber 2, we were able to get two stars, so I guess that's an improvement. But again, it wasn't even close to three star. All right, with about five minutes left to spare, we do get two stars on the last chamber. So slightly better and definitely better than it was in the last video. However, I still feel like we have to wait for an easier abyss cycle. And also, obviously, I can keep upgrading some artifacts. But would upgrading artifacts cut out about two minutes of time? Well, no. I have decided we are no longer pulling on this stupid weapon banner although i do have one pull left so like what if i actually got really no i'm not i'm not gonna do it i'm not gonna do it yeah i'm i'm so done with it never again i was also looking for stuff to farm today and i ended up bringing rice's normal attack from level four to level eight apparently i've been farming everything for him i just haven't actually been using it i don't know why that's the case but i'm not gonna complain because now i could just upgrade this pretty easily can we craft up some order uh oh we actually can get that going up we get some of these we put this can i do layla yes i can we're gonna do layla we're gonna see two extras coming through okay one extra that's fine bada bing bada boom we get one more which is gonna double because layla it was worth a shot now we can get the skill up to probably level eight indeed we can and what about the burst burst we could bring the level seven so just a little more farming that i can't actually do today but then we can get all of his talents to eight and that is a pretty nice though considering the fact that he's on marichasi i don't feel like we have enough crit damage so let's go ahead and try to maybe maybe snag a better artifact for him do i expect that to happen no but we also need fodder for artifacts anyways because our new valette when in battle still goes above 100 percent crit rate first batch we see the wrong set i was about to get excited because it was crit rate but then i remembered that's not the right set and the substats aren't too good yeah things aren't looking too good but on the bright side all of these can go into the strong box these also aren't great but we did just get enough resin to do one more run and if i know anything about hoyoverse it's that they love giving you what you want at the very end so as we can see here i know nothing about hoyoverse i don't know if it's funny or sad but this is the cryo damaged goblet that i've been using on riotsley as you can see 6.6 percent .6 crit rate 16.8 percent er i just rolled a new piece and wouldn't you know it 6.6 .6 percent crit rate 16.8 percent er on cryo damage just out of curiosity what kind of damage are we looking at 12k uh like three to four on the punches 
15k there. I'm just curious if it's better to run Widsith, which two of the three buffs are good for us, or to stick with the ER that boosts normal and charged attack damage. If we do go with the ER, as we can see, our crit damage ain't too good. If we swap that over to the Widsith, then we can see it's a little bit better. I know this dude probably has cryo resistance, but I feel like this is an easy way to see where our damage is sitting. We're starting off with the ER weapon. We're just going to punch a couple times to get the stacks, and we can see three four thousand six point five and a charge attack is nine point seven now how do i get him to activate the other thing where it boosts charge oh i'm about to kill this guy so let yeah let's take some damage and then we'll punchy punch then charge attack that's not charged there twelve thousand of course this is a bit harder to test because the widsith is the 33 percent chance to do different things but without any of the buffs from the widsith we could see three to four thousand and charge attack is well if we hit our crit it would help it is but okay we still missed my crit crit 9.1 so it's actually a little less than the other weapon however let's take some damage get our punches stacking we'll swap so we actually get the widsith boost and then do a charged attack 14,000. now that was the second boost from widsith so that means it's the cryo damage well just elemental boost honestly i feel like they're kind of comparable you know what the saddest thing is about that if we had gotten even a single widsith refinement from all those pulls on the weapon banner then this would definitely be stronger but let's just take a look back at all these amazing pulls that we did and as we can see we did not get a single widsith so that's 46 pulls where we got nothing that we wanted now this video might be a little shorter than normal but if we take a peek over here at what's coming in 4.5 i need to mentally prepare for what is about to happen on geo only and spoiler alert there's no way that i can prepare for that also it's kind of funny how this video started out with trying to get the fruit of fulfillment for lisa so that she could be good on a hyper bloom team and then we immediately swapped yai onto the hyper bloom team and it did way better so now the fruit of fulfillment probably isn't super necessary but hey it is spells only so getting a new catalyst is never a bad thing with that being said though i hope you guys enjoyed and as always i will see you all next time